Welcome to Chasing Epiphanies, the channel where knowledge is power and the pursuit of wisdom is celebrated for its own sake. My name is Marco, and this is the review of Dark Ark. Imagine, if you will, a great rain coming down, a cascade so immense that it floods the whole world, cleansing it so that life may begin anew, all according to the plans of the powers that be. Not all is lost, though. A great ark braves these endless waters, captained by Noah, keeping pairs of the natural world's animals alive on this great ship. It's a tale most of us know well enough. But wait, what if Noah wasn't the only one? What if malevolent forces are making plans of their own, attempting to preserve the worst, most hideous of creatures for the new world? Dark Ark is the name of that story. As the curtain opens, we see that our story focuses on Shrey, a great sorcerer who made a pact with the devil. He's promised to save the monsters of the earth so that he may repay his debt and eventually save both himself and his family from the clutches of hell. But of course, his journey in and of itself turns out to be no less hellish. Surrounded by bloodthirsty vampires, nagas, goblins and unicorns, Shrey realizes all too well that while he is in command of the ship, these creatures' true masters is their own gluttonous hunger for human flesh, as well as their thirst for power. It's a shaky alliance of beings who want to nothing more than to slit each other's throats or torture one another, yet they know that doing so would invite disaster and potentially make them all extinct in the process. It's an interesting dynamic to say the least. And that's not even mentioning the handful of humans that Shrey and his family are keeping chained up, like cattle, only kept alive for the sake of feeding the monsters. They're however not entirely without allies, as they're also accompanied by cruel Demantic Core, who in spite of his barbaric nature agrees to help Shrey and his family, protecting them from nefarious plots being hatched in the shadows. He's kinda like an abusive uncle, except not at the same time. Sure, he may threaten to use violence, but rarely if ever does any considerable harm. This of course earns him the nickname of Human Lover among some of the other monsters. The series consists of 15 issues, making it a fairly quick read. You could easily finish it in one afternoon. Unfortunately, this makes the story far more fast-paced than it probably should be. Stuck on the ocean in a tight space with monsters and limited resources. Sounds like a perfect setup for a gruesome survival story to me. But you never have time to get that sense of peril since any conflict only has so much time to be built up to and then resolved just as quickly. Particularly the ending, more so than the rest of the story, feels rushed and info dumpy, leaving us with more open plot threads than closed ones. The fast pace also results in skipping over important details that I think would have improved the characters. How exactly did Shrey become a dark sorcerer with a debt to the devil? Who knows? What made Cruel decide to side with the humans in the first place? Well, it seems to have taken a liking to some of the women on board, like Shrey's daughter Kali, but he probably could just attack the rest of the family and keep the ones he likes for himself. I mean, None of the other monsters seem to have any problem imagining themselves taking over, keeping the humans merely as food and pets. So why is Cruel in particular so adamant on treating the humans with respect? Plot and characters aside, the artwork however, while different in quality from panel to panel, is quite stylized with a vibrant choice of color palette, setting up a perfect surreal mood for the experience, one that I quite enjoyed. As such, Dark Ark is best enjoyed as a dark fantasy adventure, one that you don't necessarily need to take too seriously, leaning more toward gore and action as its main sources of entertainment. So would I recommend it, and in that case to who? Well, Dark Ark has plenty going for it. Style, action and an interesting premise. But the rushed pace and lack of backstories leaves room for a lot of lost potential as well. If you're like me and prefer reading something flawed yet interesting, as opposed to something polished yet a cliché, then you can give it a try. In short, if you like a bit of biblical and mythological schlock, then Dark Ark has got you covered. But wait! At the time of this recording, a continuation has just started, called Dark Ark After the Flood. Interviews reveal that this series will be focusing on Kali as the main character as we embark on a new twisted adventure. 
and it's picking up right where the last series ended. So maybe I'll get my wish and see a bit more backstories. And so the curtain closes on this comic book review. Leave a like, subscribe, and if you want to be the first to know when a new video is out, go ahead and hit that bell. And always remember, intelligence is sexy, so be the sexy you. Read a book.